When adding numbers containing decimals, we must make sure to write the problem in such a way that all of the same place values are lined up in the same columns. For example, 16 should be directly lined up with the number 11 because those are both whole numbers. The 1's place is lined up with the 1's place, and the 10's place is lined up with the 10's place. After the number 11, we have 24 hundredths. We do not have any value after the number 16, so we may add a decimal at the end of 16 and put a 0 in the 10's place and a 0 in the 100's place. And then we just add all of the columns together. In this column, we have a total of 4 hundredths. In this column, we have a total of 2 tenths. Then we drop our decimal point. In this column, we have a total of 7 ones. In this column, we have a total of 2 tens. So our answer for this problem is 27 and 24 hundredths. So let's try one more example. First, we are going to write 24 and 14 hundredths and add to that 26 and 8 tenths. If you ever have a blank space, just add a zero to hold that place value. When adding and subtracting decimal values, make sure that your decimal point is lined up, which it is, and we can drop that straight down. This column is a total of four hundredths. This column is a total of nine tenths. This column is a total of ten ones, so we place a zero here and carry a one. And in this column, we have a total of five tens. So our answer for this example is 50 and 94 hundredths.